got a check valve. Well, let's just see how tight it is. You never know, it may just come out of the way. Oh, it is loose. All right. Now, this is the type that has the flat, the flat washer in yonder, and I do see it shiny down in there. It don't have a screen, so uh, this may be a little better engine than what uh, what it appears to be. It don't appear to be bad anyway. That came loose, and that came loose. So. Mostly what we're going to have to deal with here on the get-go, the part that I can see, and probably uh, from experience, that gas cap right there is corroded really bad. So I think that it will probably disintegrate when, when we try to remove it. But we'll give it the best shot. And even these two bolts here, that's the only place they'll go, so you can't go wrong. We did, we got this. And I can see already that, I don't think you can see it, but when you're looking at that shaft where that's, it's, uh, it did move a little bit. I will wait till I take it out of the electrolysis tank and take that out. I will put a new one in there because I can see it wore really bad. The, uh, I'm going to let that cap soak a little bit. Now, another place that sometimes you can find the original paint color is, is right up underneath here. And even that appears, yeah, this was a black engine. Uh, there's just no green. There's just no green at all there. Uh, I don't know. I might have to get out there in the sunlight. That does look a little, does look a little green. It don't have a lot of paint on it to work with, but right there, I'm going to check that serial number. Uh, I'll spray that down, let that soak a little bit, and then we'll get back to that. Now the... Just looking in yonder, it's got a bolt missing in the exhaust flange. These are flathead screw. They are flathead screw bolts. So these these three here appear to be original with one missing. So, and these are the same, this is the same situation as the rest of them. Uh, you can't get it wrong. Just, just take it apart. That one right there was a little bit tight, but came loose. There's the exhaust manifold. Now it's, it appears to be good. You, vel you very seldom ever find a bad one of these other than the ear broke off where somebody throwed it around. Uh, uh, if you fool with my tags very much, you will end up with a whole bunch of them exhaust flanges, exhaust pipes. And this, this particular, the two cylinder has a snap ring on the crankshaft so you just need to get it off of there and there is several ways none the least of a screwdriver and a hammer there's the snap ring you can't you can't get it on there wrong this one this flange here it holds the four starter balls, so they will fall out. And that that's rusty, but to come out, the balls are, uh, they, they, they still shiny. Uh, we, we, uh, we'll look at them after we've washed them up. The, uh, the teeth on these starter segments, this one here is worn quite a lot. 
uh, most of them are. The teeth out here on the kicker don't appear to be wore too bad. Uh, these can be worn almost completely gone and it still be a serviceable part. Like I say, you can't get it on there wrong. This part here is the part that has the, it's got the taper pin in yonder. It's big on one end and little on the other end. Now, occasionally, when you knock it out this way, you will crack that housing. So, this one right here is mushroomed up quite, way, quite a lot. So I'm going to take the hand grinder and I'm going to grind the head off of that tapered pin right there to get that mushroom part gone because I do have some new replacement pins. And that will relieve the pressure when I knock that through and it won't crack this housing right here. Uh, so that's, that's the way I'm going to do this one. I, I will do that off camera with the grinder uh, over here on the other side. And, uh, but carrying right along. The looking down in the piston hole yonder, you can see the rings and the piston, the bottom of the piston. It looks pretty good. We we going we're gonna be alright on this engine. Uh clean up new gaskets. We'll hand cut the gaskets. We'll just clean it up really good. And I did notice something on this one. It is the one that has the cylinders that has the fins that are not cut out for this there's two styles and they'll they'll work on either engine just one of them has a this fin right here is indented so the is a allen an allen screw it holds the a carburetor, the mixer tube. You see the little set screw there? Right here? That's what holds the mixer tube in. And there is another one right here that holds the... We were lucky there that those... Sometimes they are bugger and they're hard and if one of them don't come out and you round it they just ain't no easy way to get it out but they're two of them identical this one holds the uh, the brass tube right there that does the air and you just kind of work this uh, you know just be there it is came out now there is a uh, well we're going to do it no need to just say there is we just will to do it the flange, now I'm going to put this in the vise, it'll be off camera right here, but maybe I can just go ahead and uh, kind of talk to you a little bit while that I... Okay, that was pretty easy to get loose, and all I did is loosened up that jam nut right there, just ever such a little bit, and then this part will screw off. We'll clean that up separate. The jam nut right there we'll take off and clean up. You can't get it wrong. Just get all of these parts apart. And, and that's the reason you need to take all of this stuff apart to make sure this didn't have anything in it either. That's just the open chamber. Uh, clean everything up. And that way when you get ready to start your engine, you'll know what kind of soot and dust and rust in there. And if it don't start, you will know why.